Now we have a marathon where we're gonna go and build 60 different charts in Tableau. So we will start with very basic charts and we're gonna end up making very complex charts. And we will have different charts like bar charts, line charts, area, maps, circles and everything. But here I have to warn you, if you just sit down and watch the video, it will not help you. So here my recommendation is that you pause the video, you make the same charts and then you continue. So you don't jump to the next chart without practicing with me. So let's stop talking and wasting time. Let's go and start building charts in Tableau. Alright, so now we're gonna start with the easy stuff where we're gonna build a bar chart in rows. So let's start with the big data source and let's take the subcategory to the rows. And then we need a measure. Let's take the sales and put it in the columns. And now with that, we got the sales by category. And now in order to make it bigger, I'm just going to go over here. Instead of standards, let's take the entire view. And now, as you can see, we have bars in the rows. Tableau can use bar chart as a default, but in case you have something else, you can go to the marks over here. Instead of automatic, you can move it to a bar. So let's go and click on that. Nothing going to change because currently is a bar chart. And we usually use the bar charts and rows in order to make ranking. So in order to do that, let's go to the sales and sort our data. So with that, we got a very nice ranking in our charts. One more thing that I usually add is the coloring. So I take the measure, the sum of sales, hold control and put it on the colors. All right, so that's all for the bar charts and rows. Okay, the next one we have the bar charts in columns. It's very easy and very similar to the rows. I just duplicated the worksheets. So now here, instead of having the dimension on the rows, we have to move it to the columns. So we have to switch between the measure and the dimension. In order to do that, it's very simple. Let's go to the quick menu over here and just switch it. So with that, we got the bars now on the columns. So as you can see, it's very simple. We usually use this as well for ranking. And of course, now the question is when to use columns and when to use rows. If you have a dimensions with low cardinality, like here we have the subcategory, you can go and use the columns. But if your dimension has a high cardinality, a lot of values, you can go and use the rows in order to have like a long list and you can scroll down. It's always better to scroll down than to scroll to the right sides. So if you have a lot of values inside your dimension, go with the bar rows. But if you have low number of values inside your dimension, go with the column bars. Alright, moving on to another bar chart, we have the side by side bars. In the previous bar charts, we have used only one dimension. This time we're going to go and use two dimensions. So let's go and build it. First, I would like to get the dimension country to the columns and then let's go and get our measure the sales to the rows so with that we got the normal bar charts but now if you go and add another dimension to the columns you will get side by side bar charts and the second dimension gonna be the years of order dates so drag and drop the order dates to the columns so as you can see tableau did convert it to line charts we don't want that we want bar charts that's why we go to the marks over here and instead of automatic we're gonna switch it to bars and again here i would like to make it entire view now we have a lot of data inside the view so we have five years of data i would like to have only two values so i would like to compare the last two years so let's drag the years to the filters and then here i'm gonna filter using the years so select the years next and let's have only the last two years click ok and the last thing that I would like to add is the coloring. Since we have two years, I would like to have for each year a color. So let's take the years, hold control and put it on the colors. And that's it. We have now really nice separations between the values. So now, as you can see, we got side by side bars and it's really useful in order to compare multiple values in each category. So with that, we can really easily compare the last two years in each country. And here in this type of charts, try to not have a lot of data, then it's going to be really hard to compare data so as you can see we just have a filter on the data in order to compare only the last two years so that's it for the side by side charts All right, moving on to the next one, we have the bar chart over time. It's a very famous one. You're going to find it almost in each dashboard. So let's see how we're going to build it. We're going to go to the order dates. Let's put it on the columns. And as usual, we're going to have the years. Let's go and get our measure, the sales and put it in the rows. And here as a default tab, we're going to show it as a line. So let's go and switch it to the bars since we are working on the bar charts. So with that, we got very nicely the sales over the years. But we usually add more details because those data are very aggregated. So let's 
disco and add another date dimension in order to do that let's just drill down the years so click on this plus sign and with that we got the second dimension the quarter and here we can see more details about how the sales are changing over the time so the main use case of this bar chart is to show how the data are changing over time to show trends so if you have such a requirement go with the bar chart over time Okay, moving on to the next one, we have the stacked bar charts. The requirement for this one is going to be similar to the side by side. We're going to use two different dimensions. So now let's go and build it. I would like to see the total sales of each month for this year. So in order to do that, let's take the order date to the columns and let's take the sales to the rows. And now I'm going to go and switch the years to months. So right click on it and let's select this format, the month, so that we got those bars that represent the total sales for each month in this year. But now we'd like to add more information to this view in order to compare as well the categories. So now let's go and get the categories. But here is always the question where are we going to place it. If you put it in the columns, what you're going to get, you will get side by side bars. We don't want that. We we want to get stack charts in order to do that let's take the category and put it just on the colors so let's go and do that and with that we got this information this dimension as a color inside each bar and with that we're gonna have the stacked bar charts so now as you can see the main purpose of the stacked bar chart is first to have the total of sales over the time so we can compare the months and how the sales are developing over the time then the second task which is not the main task is to go and compare the categories to see how the categories are contributing in the total sales of each month so that's all for the stacked bar charts Alright, now we have a very similar chart to the previous one. We have the full stacked bar chart or sometimes we call it 100% stacked bar chart. So now I just duplicated the previous one and as you can see in the normal stacked bar chart, each bar starts and ends differently from month to month. Total sales is not really important in this chart. What is important is now to compare the subcategories over the time. And a very nice way in order to do that is to have full stacked bar. That means each bars in our visualizations can has exactly the same length. And it starts from 0% to 100%. So in order to do that, let's go to the sum of sales, right click on it, and then let's go to the quick table calculations and have the percent of total. So with that, we got the percent of total instead of the total sales as a value, but we're still not there because those bars are not having the same length. In order to do that, let's go back to the sum of sales, right click on it, and let's go to edit table calculations. So let's go inside. And now what we're gonna do over here, instead of having table across, we're gonna have specific dimension. So let's go and switch on that, and we're gonna select only the category since we are focusing only in the category so let's remove month of the order date and now as you can see we get immediately a full stacks so let's go and close this so now as you can see all those bars has exactly the same length and they all start with the zero percent and end up with the 100 percent and we call this type of chart as a part to whole that means i would like to see and understand how each category are relate to the whole sales of each month so now let's quickly summarize when to use which chart if you want to focus on comparing the categories over the times then go with the full 100% stacked bar charts but if it's more important to show the total sales of each month then compare the categories then go with the normal stacked bar charts All right, moving on to the last type of bars, we have the small multiple bar charts, mini bar charts inside our visualizations, and we can do that by adding more than two dimensions. So let's start with the first dimension. We're going to go to the countries from the data pane. Let's put it in the columns. And with that, we got the values of the countries as columns. I would like now to add rows from the category. So let's get the second dimension, the categories to the rows. And now I would like to fill those informations in order to see some data. So let's go and get our measures, the sales. 
drag and drop it to the rows over here. So now as you can see, our bars are not really small. So it's still we have big bars inside our view and always we can go and check how many marks or how many bars do we have inside our view by checking this information over here we can see that we have 12 marks so now let's go and get our third dimension it's gonna be the order dates so let's get the order date to the columns and now we went from 12 to 60 marks or 60 data points now tableau switch it to lines i would like to bring it back to bars so let's go to the marks switch it to bars but still our bars are not really mini or small so in order to go more in details inside our view instead of using the years we're gonna go with the month so let's go and change the format right click on it and let's choose this format the continuous one the month so now if you check again we went from 60 to 707 marks mini bars inside our view i would like to add as well some colorings to it let's go and get the country to the colors so that's it with that we got small multiple bar charts as you can see as you are adding more dimensions to the view you are splitting the measure to more and more details and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.